I did a video yesterday on Elemental Beta version 3.34 about the nestable tabs with the atomic components. For version 4, you can still use version 3. Make sure you only enable the beta version and test this all out on a staging dummy site. One of the other features they brought out was animations or interactions as well. Very quickly, we're going to jump into that. So when you're building out anything on your page now, when you are using a version 4 component, I'm just going to drop in a flex box and I'm going to add in a heading pretty simple there. And if I now go over to interactions, we have the tab where we can create an interaction. It could be an entrance one. It could be one that's triggered by when the page loads or even when we're scrolling. So I'm going to go over to my flex box. I'm just going to make the size of this be 600, go to my layout, and I'm just going to centralize everything like that. Pretty simple, boring, I know. Let's now go to our heading interaction and create an interaction. It pops up automatically with on page load fade in, but I just want to show you that if I click it again, we now have a play symbol and an X. So I'm just going to hit the play symbol and you can basically see what it's doing. Not much. It just looks like it flashes in. Let's just get rid of that for a moment. Okay. And again, click create interactions. That is always going to appear for you. Let's just see what's available. The trigger is page load or scroll into view. We have the effect for fade, slide or scale. So we are a little bit limited and you know, you may want to play around with some CSS maybe, but it's something good to start with. We can have fade in or even fade out. I do like the ability where we can have fade in from top. Now, again, you may want to use some custom CSS because you may want to control how much movement there is. Imagine you've got lots of text and your heading now fades in and it overlaps the text before it appears. Sometimes that doesn't look really good from a UX point of view. So you may want to control the height of that. We can decide on the duration. So I'm going to make it be really slow and we can even add in a delay as well. Now I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to copy again and I'm going to scroll down to this second one we're going to go to interaction and this currently is set to be a fade in. Let's change it to be scroll into view. And I'm actually going to set it to be an out. So let's just see what it does. So let's go and hit publish. And now we're going to preview it. So straight off the very first one I did fades in up because that's what I did. But I had a second one. I'm intentionally waiting. So when we now scroll down, there you go. It's faded out. Did you see it didn't? It wouldn't do it as soon as I'd loaded in the page, but it has done it. Always be careful though when you do stuff like that, because sometimes you might have an image and there's got to be or some text because it's now gone, right? Look, doesn't matter how much I scroll up and down, it's not reappearing. If I go for slide, you can obviously slide in from the left and right. Again, you know, it's not completely sliding in from the page, if that makes sense. Let me just show you if I hit play. It slides in from a part of the page and this flex box, if I'm correct, is set to be 100% width. Now you could argue that if you go to your flex box and you go and justify the content to the left, then obviously, yes, it will appear like it's sliding in. I'm going to refresh my page. Can you see it's not completely off the page? Maybe it's to do with the duration. So let me now set it to be 200 and I can still see it. Look, no matter how many times I refresh it, a title is still visible and then it slides in. So... If I was going to have a slide in animation, I would want it to be completely off screen and then it slides in or have some control over the start and end point. And there's an option for scale as well in or out. And I'm just going to go with something like that. So you can see it's now scaling upwards. Like I said, we are limited as to how much we can do at the moment, but then you could argue how much do you want to have? Now, I do hope that Elementor will look into actually, is it, you know, how much can you control the slide in and where it appears from? Because that is how you could make this even more versatile, because I feel like I'm still going to have to drop in a bit of CSS to tweak it. But then again, that's kind of what I would have to do with any solution I'm using out there. So that's probably me just being a little bit pernickety, pernickety in a way. Hey, look, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. So now we've got entrance animations in Elementor beta version 3.34. Let's see how this goes. Don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel for our access to exclusive videos. And obviously in 2026, there will be a full blown course website built using Elemental version 4. Take care. See you soon. Bye.